Hello, and welcome to this week's segment of Sense of Belonging. This week, we'll be talking about the sense of belonging among Arab-Canadian immigrants. Let's start with the definition of the word belonging. What is it? The word belonging is a noun. Its definition is an affinity for a place or situation. A good example, we finally belong here, or we feel a sense of belonging. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get started. Think of your home. Home is a pretty safe place, right? But what if bombing started, destroyed your house, destroyed your chance of a decent future, you start to see killings around you, and you start to question, is home really that safe? So you move. You go with your family, or you go alone, to a new country, where it's safer, where you have a good shot at a great future, good education, maybe even start a family. That place is Canada. According to a source I found, The Lebanese Diaspora by Dalia Abdelhadi, she interviews an artist named Bassam. He made a contribution to a piece called The Lands Within Me. He says that he had wanted to tell a story, almost a biography. He thinks that all immigrants feel that sense of transience. Sometimes people don't accept the idea of being here permanently. They deny it. And their denial is a form of hope, the hope of having the choice to return. He also goes on to say, that his transnational existence causes him to question his identity and belonging in both societies. He says, going back and forth each time, I have to address the question of who I am. It is a very bad feeling actually, and I can't get used to it. You know what I mean. Each time I feel myself very divided between the two places. I feel like a child who's been taken from his mother, but who wants to hold on to her dearly. He also says, I came to the result that one can see a lot of harmony having two orientations and belonging to two cultures. But don't just take my word for it. Listen to these people. The reason we left Lebanon is it was during the war. Mm -hmm. So we left in 1990. It was just sort of getting towards the end. And um, we as Christians lived in, in what they used to call Beirut West, which was um, dominantly in, in the Muslim community and even though our neighborhood where we lived um, it was mostly uh, majority Christians and um, so when Syria went over and went into Beirut, East Beirut and then took over this is when we kind of lost hope we lost hope for for uh, uh, a peaceful Lebanon because the war and the situation back home in Lebanon was bad and I had no choice but to leave. Wow, well, because the situation was very uh, not safe and no hope, no future, no job. So I immigrated with my parents actually. Because I'm a Palestinian Syrian and uh, I was a stateless Palestinian in Saudi Arabia, so there was no stability. So we had to go find stability somewhere, and that was us coming to Canada. Okay. But what did they think of Canada when they arrived? Did they think it was nice, odd, out of place, beautiful? For sure, it was different, and definitely not easy. Well, the biggest hardships for me as a 10-year-old was um, trying to fit in with other kids. Um, and I remembered we we came in November, so I went straight into a school where um, I think I was the only immigrant in the school, and that was that was in Orleans. And um, you know, a kid who you just came from the war, you have a different mentality, different things that you value that other kids don't value. So fitting in was was really was really hard. And uh, um, I remember sometimes like I'd come home just crying, telling my parents, I want to go back to Lebanon, I want to go back to the war, like I can't, because kids are cruel. Uh, language, even that I spoke some French, uh, I thought it's very hard to um, 
speaking the language and everything is strange, everything is new, you don't know anything, so that was hard. Um, at first it was hard for me as a kid just because, you know, I'm leaving back home, I'm leaving uh, my friends and everything, but we came to Canada and it wasn't, it wasn't hard to adapt to it, so. Mm -hmm. was, was, there, was there a language barrier? Uh, actually, no, there was not a language barrier because I, uh, I entered Saudi Arabia, um, an international English school, okay. so I already knew English. And my family also knew English. But what did they feel when they went back for the first time? Were they happy? Were they confused? Or had the country changed so much in the time that they were gone that they didn't recognize their own home? Well, the thing is, I feel like when we come to Canada and we face so many opportunities and um, we face, you, you know, over here we have a charter, we have rights, we have freedoms. So going back to a country that doesn't, especially Saudi Arabia because it's completely different, not as many rights and freedoms um, you feel a little bit like okay maybe I'm not from here especially Saudi Arabia maybe not as much Syria but Saudi Arabia I felt like I was a foreigner there mm -hmm. you know um, I was um, I was it's something I was waiting for for years so to me it was very emotional to see uh, the places uh, the family member that I love and are very close to um, I don't know if I feel like I don't belong. There's, there's a lot has changed. It's not as calm and quiet environment. Uh, I definitely didn't feel I belong in Lebanon, but I enjoyed just seeing everybody and, and go back with my memory in the days that I lived there. So it was good. Mm -hmm. So I, I was 15 years old and um, things didn't change that much. Cleanup had started, you know, downtown Beirut and this and that, but. Uh, for me, I loved it. I loved it. I felt I felt safe again because I was with my cousins, with my friends, with my family. Um, you know that this I visited the school I used to go to, the church I used to go. To. So it, it was a safe, safe, uh, like a safety zone for me going back. And it was really hard leaving. Like we stayed there, I think, for uh, for a good month. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember I didn't want to go back. When they came back to Canada, how did they feel? Did they feel like they were finally Canadian? Or did they feel still kind of out of place? Let's hear it. You do. You have to realize that you're, uh, you know, you immigrated to Canada. Mm -hmm. We're, we're in, in, this is our country now. Uh, you keep your values, you keep your roots, but you have to let things go and sort of understand you're Canadian uh, there is there is this thing so you have to get to a level that you don't really care because um, it doesn't matter how long you stay there's always someone will treat you as if you're a comer like you're not true Canadian um, and then you feel like you're in between so you go to Lebanon you don't belong and you come here like with myself I feel I belong but sometimes people around you they're always gonna look at you as an Indian. but to be quite honest it, uh, I have the attitude I don't care <laughs> so you'll always be in between that's, that's going to be for the rest of your life, but the price you pay is really worth it the way uh, I live my life now. Not as much, just because I never actually felt like I was in Sa from Saudi Arabia. Okay. I was born in Saudi Arabia, they don't give citizenship, they don't uh, make you feel like you're part of the country. If you're a foreigner, you stay a foreigner. My dad grew up there and he they wouldn't give him citizenship, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. They, they have a lot of discrimination too. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't feel that in Canada. Mm -hmm. It welcomed us with open hands. It gave us citizenship. It gave us things that our own countries didn't. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, when I first came, I considered Lebanon was my, mm -hmm. my country. And, uh, and slowly, things changed my mind. And I was totally uh, changed my mind. Canada is my home yeah. country. Today, the decision is, I've decided, uh, I call Canada home. It's sad to say, but Lebanon more is, now it's, it's more of a, a tourist destination. Yeah. I go visit, I can't see myself living there. Biggest reason is because I'm married and I have kids. 
As you've heard, everyone is now happy to be in Canada. They consider themselves Lebanese or Palestinian Canadian. Well, safe to say, they fit in. These people have made so many new memories, have built their families, and made so many new friends here in Canada. I mean, they've gone back to visit their home country, to see friends, family, but they've also made new memories here in Canada. And who wouldn't? It's a nice place to call home. Uh, and that is all I have for questions. Right. So that'll be 250 bucks, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's the 